Hey, hi, ho, ya out there. I hope you've been having a happy 2022 so far. Mine has been interesting and a little uncomfortable, honestly, but I'm gonna make this year a great year out of spite. Today, I'm bringing you a very short tutorial on how I make my sprites talk. This was a little thing intended to help out Nick with his sprites first, but I figured it might be cool for anyone interested in this sort of thing. What you will need. Drawing software that lets you export transparent images. An editing program that lets you export alpha or transparent video files. And audio recording software. First things first, let's look at our base sprites. I have eight poses for mine, but if you're starting out, I would suggest making only one body position. You can always make different layers for multiple arm positions if you want to have a little more variation. I suggest keeping your style more simplistic, or at the very least not having it be super rendered since eh, that's want to make your sprites look a little goofy or inconsistent if you don't match the coloration perfectly. This sprite may not look complete, but this is all we want for the base. Make sure to save your base as a transparent PNG. From here, we're going to make our eye blinking layers first. It'll vary depending on art style, but you'll generally want four eye blink poses per emotion. If you only want one emotion for your sprite, you're good. Just do your best to make sure they match up as well as possible when overlapping. Save those eye positions as transparent PNGs of their own, and then we can move on to the mouths. There are 9 to 10 mouth shapes that you'll need, but you can look up a number of lip sync templates to find what suits you and your speech best. You need to make sure that you at least have the a, e, u, e, o sounds, along with a th slash n sound, and something for d, g, and j. A lot of these can overlap, and you can always make more for fluidity. Now, let's get on to the actual animation portion. I'm gonna assume that you know how to record and edit audio, so we're gonna skip right ahead to the timeline. I am not an animator, just to put it out there. I had an idea to make these sprites and make them talk, and I did it. Like a fool. So there are absolutely better ways to do it than how I am. So don't drag me too hard. You can set the canvas size however big you want, but make sure you make your frame rate 24 frames per second for best effect. Once all your eye materials are imported in, the first thing you're going to do is put a solid color layer on your timeline. In DaVinci Resolve, you can find it under Generators, but most editing programs have some way to do it. Next, we're going to import our base sprite on a track above the solid color. On a track above that, add in your first open eye position. You're going to extend the length of that for a comfortable duration, like however long you would naturally go without blinking. Then, one frame at a time, add the second, third, and fourth eye positions. Now, it would look weird to open the eye back up again with the exact same frames, so, for a more natural look, we're going to skip position 3 and go straight for 2 and 1 again. You can add as many blinks as you want, I personally add 2 or 3, and you can make transitional blinks, like going from neutral eyes to sad or from sad to angry. This makes it easier so you don't have to do sprite transitions every time you want a different expression. Make sure that you have all the blinks and eye expressions you want on the sprite, because this is going to be the base you import into all of your projects to save time on blinking animations from now on. Next step is to unlock the solid color layer and set the opacity down to zero. Go to Deliver and select Individual Clips, Quick Time, GoPro Cineform, RGB 16-bit, and make sure you select Export Alpha. For alpha mode, select straight. Render that bad boy and we're gonna move on to our actual project file. You'll hopefully notice now that when you import your now blinking sprite, it has a transparent background. Congrats! You can now be a degenerate with your mouthless form. Now you're gonna put your mouths in. Put your audio in and just go nuts. There's not much I can do by way of advice for doing the actual lip syncing, unfortunately. 
it'll be a slow process at first, but the more you practice, the faster you'll get. A fun tip with DaVinci at least is that you can turn your sections and different sprites into compound clips, which is kind of like the merge down layer button in an art program. Now, go on! Get out there and lip sync till your heart's content. As I said, I am absolutely sure there are better ways to do this, but this is how I do it. Like the video if you liked it. Subscribe if you want. As always, you don't have to, but if you do, I'd really appreciate it, and I would get to see you in the next video. Make sure to check out my Patreon if you have the time, slash if you want to. That way you can have early access to videos, art, and get your name read at the end of the video, like Viriton and Miss Mercurio. Thank you guys so much for becoming my first patrons. And I hope you have a scrabdangulous, fantastic day. Later, skater!